right, so 17 years ago, Leo Preziosi Jr. founded Live Out Loud to inspire LGBTQ youth to live out and proud. 17 years later, Live Out Loud has given more than $250,000, yep, clap for that, in scholarships and has presented over 2,500 after-school programs around the country. And, 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 they have connected tens of thousands, LG, thousands of LGBTQ plus young people with role models, resources, and opportunities needed to discover their voices and become true agents of change. That's some good work. It is my profound honor to introduce the founder and executive director of Live Out Loud, Leo Preziosi Jr. Thank you, thank you. We are so excited tonight. Um, there was so much great information shared. I feel like I don't even have to say anything. Um, I think you all got an idea of our programs and what we do. Um, you met our incredible scholarship winners who are doing amazing work um, of advocacy and activism in our community. Um, we have a great history um, uh, from our past generations, uh, fighting for our rights at Stonewall, fighting for our lives at um, during the AIDS crisis, uh, fighting to overturn uh, the uh, military ban and uh, winning same-sex marriage. So you're in, a good, you're in good company there. You're really doing extraordinary work. And I think if you listen to the stories, you'll see the courage that was exhibited. You know, and you think back when you were in high school, you know, what were you doing? You know, I was sharing with someone, I was like, oh, my, well, my favorite part of the year is interviewing the scholarship winners, and I thought, oh my God, what incredible work they're doing. When I was in high school, I think I was watching cartoons or sitcoms or something like that. I was never, never doing, you know, for me to survive, it was be invisible. You know, I grew up in the late 70s. Um, so be invisible you're so, you're, and you'll survive. Um, and, and it was so important for me to create this organization because I, I, I feel like for such a long time when I was younger, I couldn't really express who I was. Um, I couldn't really share my voice. And I wanted to create something where kids could come in and be a part of a community, you know, bringing the generations together and sharing with one another and really helping them to, to find their voice and then actually step forward to use their voice to become the agents of change because these are the future. Ibn Ross and Ethan, you are the future. You're gonna do things that we've never dreamed of. You know, if we look at same-sex marriage, you, you, a lot of us never dreamed that that was possible. So you, we don't even know what you guys are gonna create, but you're gonna do it. If you listen to their stories, such heartfelt stories, we, we know they're, they're on their road to greatness. So it's interesting because we come, you know, our, our, our community, the LGBT community, we come from this rich history, you know, and we have to ask ourselves as a community, what's next for us? What are we gonna get behind of? And you could see what they're up to, you know, and we really need to ask the elders sitting over here, what, what's next for us? What are we going to get behind of, you know, behind? You know, and, and, and I could say a lot of these young people, they're doing it themselves. They're doing it by themselves. And I don't think that's right. I think they need us. I think they need a lot more of us in the schools, um, really nurturing them and educating them and just being present and just to be a listening you know, that's so important for just sit down and you don't even have to share your story, just to sit and listen, you know, because they have a lot to say. You know, when I started Live Out Loud, I always thought, let's, you know, we need to create community. Community is so important. We need to bring the generations together. We need, 
you know, I thought the elders have so much to share. And what I've learned over the years is that the younger generation has just as much to share. And we have just as much to learn from them because their bravery is extraordinary. You know, so I ask everyone here tonight, you know, what's next for you? You know, listen to what they've said. There was so much said by Ibn Ross and Ethan. Listen to, remember what they said, and we'll put it up and you can listen to their speeches. But for them to step forward with such courage to do what they did, not even knowing how to, they just figured it out. So we, as a community, need to figure it out. We need to step forward like we've never done before. We need to put the LGBT youth on the top of the list. Um, and, I, and I really encourage you, you know, um, because this can't be just another gala. You know, we can't be, you know, yes, we need to raise money, but we need people to step forward like never before to be in action. You know, you want to help us? Come see me. My, my phone number and my email is right on the back of the program. You know, step forward. We need some heavy hitters. We need people to show up. We need people to be committed to our young people. Because I said before, <laughs> you know, and, and I feel like they're doing it, a lot of it alone, and it's unacceptable. So think about it. You know, and I know everyone's very, very busy. We all have very, very busy, we all have very, very important lives. Right? We're all very, very important here. <laughs> we have a lot, we have a big title. There's a lot of big titles here <laughs> in big companies. You know, and, and when, when I hear this, this courage, uh, you know, that's where you want to be. That's what you want to do. Be part of that generation that makes a difference. You know, and, and, and hopefully uh, when things like gender neutral bathrooms are in all schools, because they're not, it's unacceptable. <laughs> we work with 24 schools. Five schools have gender neutral bathrooms. Three do not, 15 have gender neutral bathrooms, but they are locked and they're usually very inconveniently located. So we really need to come together as a community and we really would value your, your support, your expertise, your money. A lot of you may have been guests of people this evening. I really encourage you to dig deep in your wallet and, and contribute, contribute. Tickets were 250. 300 at the door, you know, if, are, if you're part of a company and you did not sponsor the event, come see me. You should be sponsoring this event. You should be sponsoring these kids. You need to be sponsoring our work. Money, unfortunately, bottom line, makes things happen. But people do too. People who are surrounding us in this organization have been incredibly committed to making things happen. Um, and I do want to acknowledge those people tonight. First of all, I want to hear a thunderous applaud for our programming team. JD, would you stand? <laughs> Kelly, where's Kelly? Kelly, please stand up. Our, our wonderful interns, Helena, Mo, and Colleen, please stand up. This, this group uh, makes it happen. They're in the schools every week making it happen. Um, and the kids love them. They love them. I also want to acknowledge our board of directors if they could stand up. <laughs> Behind, giving their, their money, their expertise, their connections. And we're looking for board members. If you're interested, come see me. Come see one of our board members. Um, 
I also want, to, I'm gonna forget someone, I know it. I also want to acknowledge and thank Jeff Calhoun, who's the director of this evening. And it's Jeff in the audience, where is he? Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Calhoun. So thank you, Jeff, for this magical presentation. And of course, I want to thank Ariana. I mean, I mean, Nick Adams and John. I mean, they're just incredible, incredible. Haley, um, really grateful to all of you for coming out and to showing your support. So, and just saying, you know, I'm gonna leave and just go sit in my seat, but really think about what, seriously, this is very, very serious. What, what are you gonna do now? Are you gonna be part of that community that steps forward to, to help LGBTQ youth? LGBTQ youth? Um, this is very, very serious. So I, I really encourage you to act tonight and help us make it happen. So thank you. I forgot, I forgot. I wanted to thank my mother. She's here this evening. <laughs> my sister is here, Trish. Her key, uh, my nieces, Amy and Jenny, are here, thank you. And my brother. So they, uh, they stand behind me 100%. Thank you. <laughs>